This event's been going on for almost 50 years, and it's a traditional arts and crafts festival. We have mostly handmade art. There is children's items and all kinds of things which everyone should come and enjoy and shop. So we have a lot of new vendors, a lot more art this year, which is wonderful. Well, it's just fabulous to get out and uh, be able to do something for the community again. It's been a very long time. Uh, we haven't had this event since May of 2019. Um, so it's, uh, uh, it's long overdue. The show's been fantastic so far. Um, a good turnout, great crowd. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> uh, all of the events that we run uh, based on fundraisers that we are able to get the funds to uh, do the parade particularly. Uh, so without having this event, it is one of the largest uh, fundraisers that we do every year. And uh, so it definitely put a, uh, a dent in the bottom line. We were able to come up with some uh, GoFundMe page, I think, uh, a couple of other uh, different types of fundraisers to, to help out get us through. Uh, but uh, definitely took a hit to the bottom line. So.